Tagamic here now with a look at the GOP priorities here. Jenna. Frank, today Republicans said their top priorities are kids, jobs, and vaccines. And the Treasury Secretary said today that he is fully committed to trying to get legislation passed by the end of the month. President Trump and Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin said Republicans are looking at a smaller relief bill than House Democrats' $3 trillion HEROES Act that passed in May. We're focused on starting with another trillion dollars. We think that will make a big impact. As part of Republicans' plan, President Trump is pushing for a payroll tax cut in the next bill. It's a tremendous saving, and I think it's an incentive for companies to hire their workers back and to keep their workers. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell says another top priority is COVID-19 liability protection for businesses and schools. We don't need an epidemic of lawsuits on the heels of the pandemic we're already struggling with. It's a very bad idea to provide a legal immunity to anyone because that disincentivizes careful conduct. UC Hastings law professor and trial attorney Shane Inspector says a surge of COVID-19 lawsuits is unlikely with the virus so widespread. If you claim you got covid in a restaurant, you're going to have to exclude any other possible cause of acquiring COVID in the community. That's going to be darn near impossible, and lawyers are not going to take those cases. Specter says there should be legal avenues to prevent businesses such as nursing homes, airlines, or other companies from being negligent. As for unemployment benefits, Republicans also want to change the extra $600 bonus so people do not receive benefits that are higher than their previous wages. We don't think any federal money should be spent that gives you a di disincentive to work. House Democrats' HEROES Act would continue the $600 enhanced unemployment and send an additional $1,200 check to individuals. It also has billions of dollars for state and local governments. Jim Wilcox, a UC Berkeley professor of economic analysis and policy, says relief to local governments is critical. These state and local governments and school districts and public agencies of all kinds need to make very drastic cuts in their workforces and in the benefits they provide. What we really want to prevent is either households or businesses or even state and local governments tumbling into such serious financial trouble that they're effectively bankrupt. Today, Senator Dianne Feinstein sent a letter to Senate leaders saying that masks should be made mandatory in states in order to receive federal aid. Tomorrow, Mnuchin plans to meet with Republicans in Congress for a full briefing at lunch. Uh, and then also he will be meeting with Democrats to continue the negotiations on this next coronavirus relief bill. Frank. Jenna Katsuyama, live for us tonight. Jenna, thank you.